Hey, welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today I want to show you my incredible shrinking and expanding two liter bottle. Check this out. All I'm using in this investigation are Alka-Seltzer tablets. This is sodium hydroxide, a little bit of water, and an empty two liter bottle. The first step is to take off the lid of your bottle and completely crush it so it's flat. You want as little air inside as possible. So just flatten your bottle like so. Next, open up three packets of Alka-Seltzer and crush the tablets. Okay, once your Alka-Seltzer tablets are all crushed, then funnel them into your two liter bottle best you can. Okay, with it still flat and your Alka-Seltzer tablets are crushed up, you're gonna add just a little bit of water and then put the lid on really tight and see what happens to your bottle. So I'm gonna add a little bit of water. I'm gonna put the lid on really tight. Let's see what happens to our bottle. Okay, so we know that through decomposition, the Alka-Seltzer tablet broke down and released carbon dioxide gas. So if this bottle now is filled with CO2, what would happen if I add a little bit of sodium hydroxide to the bottle? Let's find out. You can hear that CO2 inside. I don't wanna to lose too much of it. So now we're gonna add our sodium hydroxide. And just like before, I'm going to put the lid on really tight. And we're going to give it a good shake. And see what happens to our bottle now. Here's the balanced equation for this awesome acid-base reaction. We start with the reactants, sodium hydroxide and carbon dioxide. We have two moles of the aqueous solution of sodium hydroxide, that's the two NaOH, and carbon dioxide gas, that's the CO2. Right away, that carbon dioxide gas starts to dissolve in the aqueous solution of sodium hydroxide, creating carbonic acid, which then reacts with the sodium hydroxide because it's a strong base. And as that acid-base reaction occurs, it creates the products sodium carbonate, that's the Na2CO3, and water, H2O. So what crumples the two liter bottle? Well, as CO2 gas dissolves in the aqueous solution of sodium hydroxide, that reduces the gas pressure inside the two liter bottle. Whereas the much stronger atmospheric pressure outside the two liter bottle causes it to crumple because of that pressure differential. I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Ramsey Land, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this presentation, be sure to remember to like and subscribe.